Hi everyone, we had an amazing puzzle run today and puzzles were of very high quality. I thought that it's good to share and recap what we did. It was a perfect run. And first puzzle, it was easy, 2600, but then later 31, 20, 31, 31, 33, 3300. So let's start with the easy one. This one, we are queening over D pawn. This D pawn is queening there. So what we need to do is just to bring the king in and um, for example go king there, there and then queen the pawn, right? And the king of white cannot, basically cannot do anything and pawns of white are far away from queening a spot so we can just simply go forward and queen our pawn and win the game. So I don't go too much through this puzzle but instead I will talk about the next puzzles. This puzzle is, as you can see, is 30,100 and it's amazing because uh, it seems that white is in a very good position as a advanced e pawn and so what's good about us what's good about us is that we have two pass pawns also there is a very nice pattern that you should remember the combination of bishop and queen if wasn't the rook of white in the back rank the queen could go there and give a check king goes up then a few moves we could basically deliver mate. Can you see it? I will show it at the end. But mm, just to tell you, this is a pattern that you should have in mind so that you don't need to calculate. So basically what it says is that if we exchange our pieces, we have two passed pawns and we can simply queen them, right? Let's some try to force the exchange, offering queen exchange and attacking the knight at the same time. White can't do much except attacking over rook. It definitely exchange wasn't in its um, capacity. So offers uh, says that I want to take your rook. And remember, we have a mate over there, so we can simply grab this pawn. If we grab this pawn, gives a check, and we cannot retrieve the rook back, right? Because it simply grabs the rook with the queen and basically wins. But we can retreat the queen and after it takes we take and we are winning the game so i promise you that i will show you what happens if white captures this rook why we had a mating net it goes up right bishop comes in kings goes up and after this position we have a pawn to push and the king is very limited and can't move so you should have these patterns in mind so that you can quickly calculate and then don't bother yourself what happens if the rook captures my rook. So otherwise it's very difficult though. It's amazingly difficult if you want to calculate this mate and also you want to calculate the rest of continuation of the, the game if uh, white plays another move. So it's getting very difficult so there is where pattern recognition helps you and this puzzle is also very amazing first move is obvious right we have very good piece placement but we are down material we are down a queen for two pieces and we are down plenty of pawns so first move is obvious right we give a check white couldn't go to the left side to the g file because it was made with the rook mm, uh, queen defense but then we take now it's the critical move here is the critical move wasn't this knight here it was made right the king couldn't move couldn't come to this square at all so um, basically it means that we should move this knight and deliver a, a strong check and what to do when we move this knight we shouldn't block our rook pass for example we shouldn't deliver a check from here because king can escape and run away also similarly if we go there uh, no, the, the, imagine this knight wasn't here but white could do white could retrieve the queen right retrieve the queen on e3 and defend and if we move the knight actually if the knight wasn't there it was made so retrieve the queen on e3 and defense but then we take with the rook and takes back with the pawn and yeah we are up a piece somehow but we are down exchange we are down a lot of pawns even if we could somehow manage to exchange the rook uh, knight with the queen somehow okay 
uh, it seems that we are up material, right? But it's not true. We are down a lot of fun for one bishop. So it's not winning definitely. It means that we should really deliver mate or win the queen for free. So what to do next? So moving knight here is not appealing, right? Because it blocks our rook pass and king can escape. We should move the knight, of course. Moving the knight here, 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 and so on. These places are possible places. Uh, in any my knight move except here, queen goes back to iterate to defend the mate. And as we discussed earlier, we cannot exchange the rook with the queen. So what does it mean? It means that we should either take the queen with the knight or we should be able to give a check in the next move with the knight, right? So queen goes back. The only possible places that we can check with the knight is here and here, right? So to give a check here, we should place the knight here. To give a check here, we should place the knight here. Also here is not very good, right? Because blocks our rook pass. So the only place remains is here and we should place our knight here. Why? But there is another move. We can also give a check from here. Once the queen is back, we can capture the queen with the knight, but that's not good, right? Because we discussed earlier, we are up a bishop, but down a lot of material. Therefore, we go for this check. Give a check and deliver mate. So it was a little bit of calculation, but um, it was doable, right? Because it's only knight to be moved and then you can think about it. Here, what we see is that this pawn is queening if we do it properly. And another mating um, uh, pattern that you should uh, have in mind is that if we give a check with the bishop and place our bishop there, then white basically can't do anything against it and should give up a queen to prevent the mate, right? So this is another mating pattern that we have in mind. So this bishop check should be met with pawn g3 otherwise if king goes on we place the bishop on g3 and uh white is blocked to defend the mate with the queen and if white loses the queen then loses the game also white's queen cannot do much cannot give a check or anything meaningful therefore we definitely have this check in hand but what's the goal of this check the end goal is we know that white doesn't go for being trapped for mating net, right? Doesn't go to like g1 or h1 with the king to let us to place the bishop there. Instead, push the pawn on g3. What's the goal then? Then we can start to push this pawn. Why we can't push this pawn right now is that queen of white, if we push it right now, queen of white goes to a2 and defends um, the attacks the pawn or queen of white is simply grabs over bishop or even worse than that simply grabs over bishop and uh, keeps eye on the back rank. so therefore we have to do this and now we want to defend the pawn uh, defend the a2 square to uh, enable the pawn to go there as well as moving the pawn so how to defend that square right give it check and then push the pawn that was it. That was it. And it was 3,360 and near 3,400, right? It was easy. Piece. And the one more thing I wanted to show you, it was this. If uh, instead of this, okay, then, okay, I should play it. And after I play, it allows me to analyze. But instead of that, if it was playing there, then this was the end of the day, right? Because whatever. We go there, check, it's mate basically, and then this is again queen. So let's go back. Let's go back to the last and the most interesting puzzle. In a, it is interesting in a sense that shows you sometimes you should calm down. So here, this bishop is for free and there is no mating attack, so let's take it. So we take it and gives us a check. Um, before we do anything, let's compare our position with our opponent. We are up a queen for a knight. It's very decent, right? Usually you are up a queen for three pieces, but this is up a queen for one minor piece. This is amazing. So we don't need to do much, but on the other hand, our pieces are all in the back rank and 
we can do we can use them we need to simplify the game and bring the pieces out and play a normal game we have a lot of advantage so we don't need to do lots of um, risk moves what to do next we can bring the king here is a check we can bring the king here but rook takes pawn and it's not very pleasant and we are not going to a, a very good position what if we go to um, d8 if we go to d8 knight takes the f1 and we lose the rook afterward then we are and on and that very beautiful situation to have lots of pieces and material uh, up no it's not that much also our pieces still are in the back rank and we have lots of pressure to tolerate another place we can go is to go here if we go here there are several possibilities rook takes if rook takes we just escape and then we are not in mating net anymore uh, if uh, rook doesn't take knight takes and let's see what happens if knight takes this is a crucial point in the game that you should calculate once again dynamic of the game changed then calculate again in this position imagine if we sack a queen for rook and knight what happens what happens is that mm, remove these three pieces from the board then we have two minor pieces white has two minor pieces we have two rooks white has one rook so we are winning then you don't need to make the game complicated for example one may think that okay i bring the rook here and maybe i win material but not really because because once you bring the rook here for example you enable the bishop of white to come out and give a check and it's very dangerous situation if you're not getting mated it's immediate mate actually so sometimes you don't need to over complicate the things just simply grab this and white has to take and after white takes we take the knight and that's it that's it that's for today and i hope you enjoyed with this difficult puzzles see you next time